Good morning, brave adventurers. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and today I'm just going to be a set of hands and do something completely different. Today I'm going to show you these acrylic paint markers that I got for $5 at Five Below. I would say my local store, but I had to drive about 45 minutes to get there. This was the last set of the acrylic paint markers that they actually had but I really wanted to pick them up and try them out on my miniatures. Now, I do want to get into mini painting. How exactly I want to do that, I haven't decided on yet, but I thought these would be a very clean, easy to use method. So I really wanted to try them out and give them a chance. So these are acrylic markers for rock painting and more. They are water-based. They can be used for paper, rock, canvas, ceramic, and glass, wood, stone, plastic, and fabric. And we've got some instructions on the back. We'll just take out a pen, shake it, air it out, press it down, right, and then cover it back, or paint in our part, in our case, and then cover it back up. So, this is actually the first time I'm going to open these, even though it looks like they were previously opened. But for $5, I'm not going to complain. This is quite a happy color palette. Uh, we don't have any white or black, but that's okay. Today I want to try these out on a couple of my Hero Quest minis, notably the treasure chest furniture item, as well as the sorcerer's table furniture item. These are from the 2021 edition of Hero Quest, sometimes called the second edition. And I've got my dice up here just to kind of remind everybody what it is I'm doing. I will not be coloring my dice, but I do have something related to these dice that I'm going to show you by the end of the video. So I hope you'll stick around. Um, I also have Enora, notable halfling wizard, druid, warlock. I think she's supposed to be a warlock. I looked for some stand-ins to use with my classic hero quest and I wanted to find a style an aesthetic that matched that game so I ordered some reaper bones and I got this little lady because I wanted to stand in for the halfling warlock that is in the mythic tier for hero quest 2021 she's not accessible you can't get her you'd have to go on eBay and purchase a mythic tier Hero Quest at exorbitant prices at this point. Uh, so we want to try to get some accessibility. We want to try to get this hero for other people to be able to grab. And this is the closest that I could come up with. She doesn't match the scale of the classic Hero Quest, so that's very, very unfortunate. But as a Reaper Bones mini, we can test out these markers on her as well. And I think that that would be appropriate. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to leave all of the brown on this chest and just consider that to be the color of the wood. And I am going to attempt to color in the metal around the sides. And I think I'd like to do that with our green. So we're gonna follow the instructions, shake it first. And there is a ball in here and we will uncap it which those pull off we will air it out now i didn't hear anything when i aired it out but this did very obviously poke down and then when i brought it back up the uh the inside seemed to bring some color up with it so i would call that a success and now we're going to test it i'm just going to test it right on the workpiece. i really don't mind if these get some color on them so we press that down and we just wait for that color to fill in i suppose it's getting there slowly but surely and constantly pushing down the nib kind of seems to help that out a little bit here we go we are starting to saturate the nib and it's coming out onto the chest maybe maybe some green for some rust is what I should be going after. Oh wow, that's so easy. That's so easy. 
I really like that, actually. Yeah, we'll put, I said rust, green for a uh, mold, just general old treasure chest, wood, dungeon, mold. It gets pretty dank in those dungeons. But we have a very limited palette, so I can't get super creative. I'm just going to have to try to work within my limitations. And so far, that is really easy. The results are immediate. This is not a fine point nib. I actually have my eye on some finer points. Uh, as such, I think coloring our halfling is going to be very challenging using these. But as far as this one's concerned, I really like this. So it's only giving us pretty much what we need. It's only, it's only coming out as much as I need it to. It feels very much like um, writing as opposed to painting. I really like that, really enjoy it. I'm gonna apologize for the sorry state of my finger calluses and try to uh, keep those out of the frame. I'm not a an artist nor a video maker by trade. I actually work in a factory stay focused let's lock that focus there we go i hope that i can stay right about here and just keep going along the grain That's kind of how i i've seen mold work its way around wood this looks like a wonderful fit for any dungeon that is going to have the hero quest abominations now i'd like to call that good as far as the wood but i need something to put around this chest to to accent it more and i'll just push the nib down whoops we have to let that air escape It actually says to press down for five seconds. That is something I did not do. And then the instructions on the back actually do say to press this down on paper uh, and move it up and down for about a minute. Now I achieved that in far less than a minute with the green, but it just goes to show it's important to read the instructions. So that is, that is the orange. Once it's on the wood and contrasting with the wood, it, it looks a lot better. I would say it's a bit more, well, no, this is about what it looks like in real life. I'm looking at it on the screen as well as in my hand, uh, the screen of the phone with which I am recording. And I'd say that's pretty true to life. Pretty true to life. Let's get some orange on the metal, the metal frame of this chest. And I'm, I'm just gonna be quick and dirty about it. I'm not really gonna try too hard to, um, go ahead and get this monster's face in here too. I'm not really gonna try too hard to be precise because again, these are not fine, fine points. And um, looks like this chest is green colors are pretty well dry. I got a little bit on my finger earlier, but that didn't come off the chest. That was me touching it immediately after painting. Um, but say so far, just the convenience and how cool it feels to be coloring this and getting immediate results this is this is a fantastic buy for five dollars and i think that i am going to go this route i really want 
the finer points so that I can get into the details. But in order to fill in the details, maybe I can just flood them with paint. I don't really want to do that either. I think that some folks might warn me not to do that, and that doesn't look good. I don't like that. Like, that's a fine color for what I want to do, but I can't get in there. I'm going to need a finer point or a brush or something to get in there. So instead of doing that, I will just go around the metal frame of the chest with my orange to kind of simulate a, a sort of very rusty iron. It already looks gross enough that I don't feel like I should be holding this. I'm wondering when it was that I got my last tetanus shot. So if, there we go. If I don't quite paint over all of the brown, it can look like a multicolored rust. That really has a nice effect. Like this is an ugly chest now, thanks to my efforts. But that's what I wanted to do. Uh, we have two axes to paint on. We've got the flat side, and then I've got the side that faces out. I guess they all face out. The side that faces up and around. I also want to paint the side that faces out. So I need to get some kind of helping hand or something to hang on to this. I guess I can do this. Yeah, and we can paint metal of the handle and the middle of the side of the chest. I a thousand percent like this. I was painting with a brush, just painting the base color for my classic Hero Quest homebrew minis, which were the Talisman 3rd edition minis. And this is already so much more fun this is really fun. So there it is. Uh, I don't know about using any of the other colors on this chest. They're very bright. They're very happy. This chest needs to be dank and rusty and moldy. Maybe now that I'm a little more comfortable, we'll apply some more mold. Plus it's having a bit harder of a time showing up. There we go. At least that much more mold, huh? Having a bit harder of a time showing up now that this thing is um, saturated in rust. And I just kind of go ham. One thing I want to point out, these furniture minis, or at least the chest so far, it's taken the paint really well. Like, it's not hesitating. It's just going on. And I don't think these things were primed when they left the factory. It might be one of those cases where the mini was printed or, you know, came out of the mold using a material that was easy to paint, but I've been advised to prime no matter what. And these, I wanted to just skip the priming to see what these were like. Yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely. I love that. Here's the finished product. I'm going to say so far, actually, I didn't get the handle metal on this side. The whole thing needs to be rusted. Lovely. I love it. 10 out of 10. You may disagree because of the style, aesthetic, or perhaps you've noticed some errors I've made while painting. That's fine. I'll agree with your assessment of my skill, but I really like how the chest looks. I think I could paint all of the furniture with markers like this, so let's move on. We're going to get to the sorcerer's table next. I did mention that I did not have black, but it's common convention in like cartoons and the like to use a purple in place of black. Don't know why. So I just shook up that color thinking it would be more red and that is not red at all. That's definitely pink. These uh, it's like coral and salmon, coral and salmon. That's what we have here. That's fine. The hardest part is shaking, 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 shaking. I will let the autofocus do its job for a minute. It occurs to me my desktop is glass here and that I could uh, I could paint directly on my desktop if ever I 
felt so inclined. It does not take a full minute to get the paint out. It takes about a full minute from the time you decide you want to select a paint and you begin shaking it, then releasing the air, then going through the process of letting it out of the marker. It's out. All right, we're gonna try painting the candles, actually the flames. I'm going to give a shout out to my wife, who is really the expert in all of this. I'm trying all of this early, and I'll be running these results by her a little later, and then she'll be able to give me some helpful tips on what I could have done differently. Now, the sorcerer's table also wood, but they printed this with this uh, stone gray because of the slab here being the most visible part and it being most likely to be made of stone just as the original Hero Quest model was. I want to paint the, the mold in on the sides, but I think instead of mold, it's going to be that sort of moss that grows, bronze oxidizes and becomes very green pretty quickly. Or it could be moss on stone this green's just gonna come in handy. It's gonna be my catch-all for excuses. That's what it is. Nothing super detailed, just strange aesthetic choices that I'm making to try things out. That's all this is. Perhaps a sort of pinkish hue on the candle. That does not look good. I do not like that at all. This is the closest thing I have to red, unfortunately. We didn't have a primary red color, so. In the interest of showcasing what these babies can do, I'm just going to go ahead and use it for the ribbon that is holding the place of the book. And clumsily get it on the pages of the book itself. And that does not look in the slightest natural, so I'm just going to own, own that mistake. I'm gonna try to blend my orange and my yellow a little bit right on the pages of the book and kind of see if I think it would work to make the pages look aged. Despite me not being very happy with the results of some of my choices, I'm still finding using these to be very fun and rewarding because if I had a little bit more skill and a finer point, so the proper tool, I would enjoy this method highly. I think that this is very rewarding and this is very relaxing to do. Less so for me because I have a camera on and potentially an audience to entertain, whom I am likely entertaining by blundering my otherwise hopeful paint job. Now this is a model that I think would, uh, would demonstrate that priming would be more useful to do in this case. I don't I think that we would have gotten better results if we had primed this model first. I said I was going to mix that with orange. I'm not going to do that. That looks quite, quite appropriately yellowed on its own. All right, and purple it is. Folks probably screaming at me not to do this, but I'm going to do it. Because I, I have a lot of faith in being able to get this paint off or covered over if I absolutely need to. But I'm not going to feel, I don't think like I absolutely need to.
because I don't mind if my 2021 HeroQuest furniture models look like they were done in an amateur way. These are not super, super important. Don't get me wrong, I love that these are completely plastic because now I don't have to worry about my cardboard HeroQuest furniture getting damaged when I just want to play HeroQuest with new players, but if I am playing for the channel or playing some homebrew, I'm probably going to play classic just because that 90s aesthetic wins me over every time. Speaking of a 90s aesthetic, this is coming along, I don't want to say like well, but it's not looking too shabby. Like this looks like it was painted 30 years ago. <laughs> kind of where I can't really get in between the cracks and stuff. It just looks like it's aged or the paint is peeled or what have you and it, it doesn't look bad. I don't have access to everything I need but it really doesn't look bad. Now this purple, this is more violet. It's, uh, it's showing up on camera more blue, especially out of the pen and onto the model. That looks blue. But um, the yellow and the red look very, very, very much the same in real life versus camera, but it is showing up more blue on the model, on the pen. This looks purple once it comes out of the pen. This looks violet while it's still in the pen. It's kind of hard to, to show you accurately what that color is. Perhaps perhaps some pictures on Twitter later will, will correct that. So, low key, telling you to follow me on Twitter. All right, if I had some white, I would go after these candles with the white, but since I've just got some orange, I'm going to paint the candle sticks. Not the candle sticks, the candle holders. And again, not able to get totally in into all of the fine spaces. That's okay. I, these were $5. I'm not going to paint them in a bad light so to speak. <laughs> I'll show myself out. Alright, and we'll just... This is, the, this is our result so far. It's not looking bad. I rather like it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some orange on the hardware. as well as on what I perceive to be the metal. Whoever agrees with this decision, you guys are awesome. Whoever disagrees with this decision, you guys are also awesome. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, if I get access to some better pens, which I'm really, really liking these, so I think I will invest in some better paint pens, finer nibs, and uh, obviously a better palette. Much better palette. I mean, it was eight colors, you know? I, I knew what I was getting into. Wait a minute. I have a black. There was a black in here. I just missed it because I dumped the colors out and thought I had them all, but I actually have a black. I don't actually know what I would like to use the black on. I guess I can write something on the pages, but I would kind of be worried about doing it with such a, such a large tip, such a large nib. The candles. We'll make the candles black. I think I had them as green, but black is so much better of a choice for evil wizard candles. Don't you agree? Like, 
the video and comment down below if you agree. Comment down below if you don't agree. Comment down below if you just want to talk about the price of tea in China. It really helps out what with that evil YouTube algorithm. My videos just don't get put in front of everybody who needs to see them, I think. I think it works out just fine when people comment and all of that, but I, I don't like asking for them. It's like... Do it if you want to. Not because I'm over here going, Hey guys, smash that like button. Alright, so we've got some black candles, and even though, whoops, even though it could be a better paint job, it's getting the idea across. Now, I really want to do something. I really want to write on the pages of this book, but I can't. I just can't. So failing that, we're, we're, we're done. It does seem like I could write pretty, pretty small. Uh, not small enough. I, I'm not competent. I would rather practice something like that. All right, here's the furniture thus far. I'm actually pretty dang happy with both of these. All right, and the, uh, the halfling is next, but unfortunately I'm out of time. So why don't we save this for episode two? when hopefully I have some finer nibs because she is very small. She's gonna have a lot of details that really need to pay, be paid attention to and I, I know that I'm not gonna be able to get to them with these markers, but for the value and for trying this method of coloring out and for seeing if it's something that you want to do, I, uh, I think $5 is extremely reasonable. I think this is a great little rewarding experience to throw five bucks at. And you've got some markers you can, you can begin painting with. Even if you don't like painting small details on minis, you can use these for rocks or paper or other things. They're intended purposes. Kind of dumb to say they're intended purpose. They were intended to paint on plastic. But again, the nibs. The resolution, the fidelity at which they paint is just not up to par. I would love to test all of these colors, but I just don't have anything right now to test them on. So yeah, enjoy one more shot of this final product and let me know all of the things you would have done differently. I will answer every comment and like them all. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Please let me know if you'd like me to do more of these. I know for sure now that I would like to invest in more of these markers and do some more episodes on mini painting. So as you can see, my terrible painting technique get better with time. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you tomorrow with cleaner hands. Bye for now. Bye. Ooh, it occurs to me I forgot all about my other project involving the dice. So this is all I'm going to do future episode. Stay tuned. Subscribe and all that good stuff. All right. Bye for now.